everybody. My name's Brenda and welcome to Tangle Break. Today is Tangle Tuesday and we're going to do this cool tile that uses the Tangle's Chatuck and a variation of Crescent Moon. So let's get ready to have fun, relax, and get started. We are going to use the eight basic steps of the Zentangle method. Step one is gratitude and appreciation. I am thankful for the time that we're able to take our break and, um, and the supplies that we're gonna use today. They are a three and a half inch tile, a Micron 01 pen, a pencil, and a tortillon. And if you do, do not have a tortillon, you can use um, a Q-tip or your finger. Okay, all right. So the second step is corner dots. So take your pencil and I just lightly put the dots in the corners and that's it, okay? So you have started your tile. Okay, step three is the border. I'm just gonna take my pencil and pull it towards me. Connecting the dots. Sometimes I'll do wavy lines for borders today for the um, tile that we're gonna be working with. I'm just using straight lines or as straight as you can draw. Okay, no stress. Okay, the next part, number four, is the step four is the string. For the string, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the corner here and do an arch and go to the next corner up at the top. Okay, so I'm doing an arch or curve. Okay, I'm gonna come back similar to where I was. Not exactly in the corner, just a little ways off. And this time, I'm gonna arch it and come to about right there. Okay, I'm gonna come back again, similar, and I'll arch it again. Okay. Then I'm gonna come similar, and arch it just down to the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna take it from over here in this corner and I'm gonna arch it up to right in here. Okay, so my string today just sort of fans out in pencil. Okay, the next step is step five is tangle. So go ahead and put your pencil away. We'll use it at the end of shade and get out your Micron 01 pen and we can get started tangling. The first part I'm gonna do is Chatuck. So what we just did with these borders, I'm gonna be making um, the tangle. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go back to where we started and I'm just gonna go over that with my pen just tracing over it going right on up to the corner and um, don't worry if, if it's not exactly on the pencil the tangle will hide the pencil you won't even know it okay now I'm gonna come to the right of it and I'm gonna aura it so I'm going right beside it And then I'm going to come to a little point at the end. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my next one here. And for this one, I'm going to go over the line with my the added in pencil. Okay. Now I'm going to aura that. And I'm gonna come to a point. Okay, 
I'm going to go to my last, my, well, my next one, not my last one. Go over it with my, mar, with my Micron 01 pen. Come back over it. Come to a point. Now I'm going to come to this one right here. Come out. I'm going to or it. And I'm going to come to a point. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my top one. Go over the pencil. Okay. Alright. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to aura. I'm going to go on the on the inside. So I'm going to come back right here. Or on the inside. And come to a point. Okay. So all I've done right now is just gone over it. I'm going to pull this down. And pull the or down. So it sort of meets it. And then over here. Going to go up. Come around and meet it, meet it, meet it. Okay, so I've just sort of connected them. Now the fun part, I enjoy this part of Shatuck. We're going to do the boards going back and forth. Okay, to make it easy for myself, uh, I like to do the tri uh, triangles. So, okay, so we're going to start at We'll start at the top one here. Okay, I'm gonna come down and just do a mark to the side. Then I'm gonna go back up, down, up, down. Just doing some triangles here. Up, down, up, down. Just however it works out. Up. They're going to be different widths because of where you are on your drawing. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there. I'm leaving that space on purpose. Okay, I'm going to come back to the bottom here and make that little triangle go in. All right, now I'm going to go to the next one, this side. And what I'm going to do where I can is mirror the triangle. It's not going to be exactly lined up and that's fine okay but I mean where you can it's pretty fun to do so triangle so sort of trying to line it up so I'm just trying to line up some up with the okay I'm gonna go one more which makes a very fun sideways one and I'll probably, I'm just looking at it, let's go ahead and go on up like that. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm doing all the triangles because then the boards are so easy. And that's what we want. We want to have fun, relax, and we want it easy. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go this way. Just going back and forth with my triangles. I'm trying to mirror what I did on the other side. And like I said, if it doesn't exactly line up, it's okay. And I'm not going all the way to the end for a reason, because that's where we're going to fill in with crescent moon. And then my last one here. I'm going to go mirror it. I'm going to say that way. See, that one's not going to line up, and it's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to just take it from the bottom tip, this tip I want to go. Okay. I've got a lot of diamonds going on there, triangles. Okay. So now, he here we go. So we're just going to go back and forth. Let's go ahead and start with 
Hmm. Let's go ahead and start with the top one here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the boards. Okay. And when I'm doing the boards, I'm going to have the same space from each one. Let me just start right here and just show you. So right here, I'm going to go make a board, 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 board. Okay. I'm just echoing the main line. So this main line here, board, board, board. I started out here just so that you could see it better. Okay. So I'm just going to echo board, 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 and then I've got the boards. So I'm going to stay with this thought. So we're going to echo all of these right now so that we can stay where we want to go. So this is going to be echoed here. It's a little bit different because you're on a curve. That's why I'm just going to do one side at a time. So you don't get lost. Easy. We make it as, I try to make it as easy as possible. Okay. We'll do all of these and then we'll turn our card, our tile. Okay. Now we're going to turn and we're going to make, we'll start here so you can see. I'm going to do exactly what I just did, making the boards this way. That's it. That's all you're doing. Okay. So then come over to this one, make your boards. See, I started here just because I wanted you to see what I was doing. Here, this is a little one and a little one. Okay. Now we can come back out here where you can see. And I'm going to do my boards. When you get into the groove, this, the shatak is what we're doing. It's very relaxing because you just do straight lines in two different directions. That's it. That's all there is. And it just makes such a pretty design. Okay. So we have three more of these right here to do. And then we'll finish up with Crescent Moon, which is pretty cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll pick one that's close. Since I did this way here, I'm going to do it this way here. And if the boards match up, that's fine. If they don't, the effect will still be the same. Okay, so I'm auring the, this line right here. So then I come beside it. See, some of them are going right at it. Some of them are not. Uh, I'm trying to get them there. If it doesn't work, it's okay. Okay, now I come down to this one here. I'm just auring that line. Okay, come down to this one. See, I'm not even trying to get it lined up and it just worked out that way. So that, that was lucky. Okay, then this last one, you just have longer ones. Okay, done. Now we turn our card, our tile, and I'm going to turn it all the way around and I'll show you why. Because I'm going to do this board and I like to start with the big board, the line, the longest line to my left. Okay, that's just how I'm very comfortable doing it. So it's just turn your tile. And then you know, I'm going to go do my long line first. Okay, my long line first. My long line first. And then the little ones get little. Just fit in what you can because they sort of disappear. Okay, done. Pretty cool design happening here. Okay, 
Same thing. I'm just going to turn my tile a little bit. And like I said, I like to use the long ones. So then I'm going to just bring it down. I'm oaring the long one here. Come down here. Oaring this one. Okay. Come up here. Or this one. Or this one. And as you work your way up, they get littler. And that's okay. Just fit what you can. Okay? I did this way here. So now I want to do this way. And so I'm going to turn my tile upside down. Okay? Because I like to do the long one first. Right here. Okay. Or the long one. Or, or the long one. Okay. It's turning out pretty good. Okay, now let's keep doing this one and we'll do it which way we want to do it. We want to do it so that we're going this way. So turn your tile this way and we're going to or this line right here. And then like you can see on mine, this line hardly any of the triangles or diamonds lined up and it doesn't matter. I think it's cool when they line up but then it gives it variety when it doesn't line up. Oh, that one lined up by accident. And then you just put it in here. Okay, alright. Now we're going to do the last part. So I'm going to turn my tile. Okay, and if you trying to figure out which way I'm turning my tile, just always look at where these jut out and then you can see which side, you know, my tile is. Okay, now we're going to do the last part. We did, we're going to go long ways here. Okay, and long ways here. And because this one is curved so much, that's why it's a little bit different angle, but all, you don't have to worry. You just know wherever the long one is, that's what you're going to aura. So that's my long one. Long, long, long. Okay. Getting there. All right. So now what we're going to do is just to give it, um, so it'll pop out. I like to dark color in the second stripe or a second board so let me show you so for this one right here i have one i don't do that one i do the one next to it okay i'm gonna blacken it in and you'll see why it makes the whole design pop out i think the design right now is very cool but when you have the zigzag going effect in a stripe it stands out even more so we're just going to go up this one. So then the second one. And that's what I'm going to do all the way up is I'm going to find the second one and color it in. So it's easy. Okay. You just follow the second one. Second one of each little section. And it goes pretty fast because they're going to get smaller and smaller as we go up, up the little ladder here. Oh my goodness, I have, we have a visitor. Molly's trying to crawl into my lap. Can you see the top of her head? Okay, let's go down, let's go down. She, she gets on the ottoman right beside me the whole time. And so she's, she's wanting cuddle time. You'll get cuddle time after this. Okay, the second stripe. 
Oh, she's gonna come back up again. Excuse us. Okay, come on. Come on. You're fine. Oh my goodness. You need cuddle time. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. I don't want to stop because we're doing so good. I don't want to stop. Where are you going? All right. Come on. All right. Okay. Okay, goodness, goodness, goodness. We'll keep going. <laughs> she needs me and I don't want to stop, so we'll just let her stay right here for a second. Okay. So we're just going to go on up. The second one, we'll get this done. And the second one. Okay, second one, the second one, the second one, the second one, see it gets easier and easier because they're smaller and smaller, the second one, 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 and on some of these I only have two or three in there, so. All right, let's go to the next one, the second one, okay. Okay, the second one. Second one. The second one. The second one. Second one. Second one. You get the idea. And we're almost finished. Okay. I gotta really look in this hole down here. Okay, got it. All right, we just got two, two left. She's, she's hang, hang, hanging in there. I took her earlier on the golf cart. I take, she goes on the golf cart ride every day. And we went and got some gas in the golf cart and she was so good. Oh, there she goes. She's my little body. Okay, so come over here. Second one. Second one. Second one. Second one. Second one. And then as you get to the little ones, I mean, there's a couple of these that I only have like three. So just fill it in where you can. Okay, and we got the last one to do. See how it pops it out? I just think that that looks so good. Okay, and you can go back over. Like I see some white specks sticking out. Um, when you have more time, you can go back over and go over those. Okay, last row. Two. Okay. 
just it's so nice when you just color in a little bit and it just makes it all pop I'm just doing the second band each time and it just makes from you know makes the whole design pop out for me and we just have one more step to do before we shade and that's crescent moon which is always fun and easy just doing the second I turn it back and forth just for the reason of making it simple for my hand to color it in Okay, almost, and then up here it's so easy just to get it done quickly because the spaces are so little. And I'm just, you know, when it gets really close in there, just put it where you think it goes. Okay? All right, so the, the Chautauk is completed. Now we're gonna do um, crescent moon to fill in these spaces around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up here and do my ladybug and fill it in. I just went to the top, top of it, filled it in. Now I'm gonna do, and I'm going out of the line and it's okay. Okay, because my border, I don't know if you can see, my border actually goes here. The border is a guide. So, I mean, if you get close to the border and you want to go past it, it's, it's absolutely fine. Okay, now I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do another one. So, I'm going to fill in my ladybug. Fill in my ladybug. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some auras. And I'm just gonna keep going on this one. Okay. Okay, so then this one's gonna end up going behind it. So then I could just go over to it and do my auras. And I'm doing a lot of auras, okay? Let's do one more. Okay, so then I'm gonna go over here and right here, we'll fill this in. With the aura. And a ladybug right here. We'll put this in this crevice. And I'm gonna do some auras. I'm building out. Okay, which gave me a crevice right here. And I'm gonna build out. Okay, just having it peek out a little bit. Okay, we're over here. I'm going to have a little crevice and I'm going to make a ladybug. Okay, make one here. Make a little one here in the little crevice. They can be all different sizes. Your ladybug here. Just peeking out. Done. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on these other little areas. So I want a ladybug right here. 
And so then I'm going to aura. I'll turn it. Okay. I'm going to make a ladybug right here. So they look like they're one's on top of the other one. Okay. I'm going to do a ladybug right here. I like putting them in the corners. And then I'm going to turn it so I can do my auras. Oh, let me see. All right. I'm going to go to the edge. Okay. I'm going to come back over here on this side and do a little ladybug. Do some auras. Okay. And then I feel like I'm going to do a ladybug right here. Just sort of layering them. This one goes this way. Okay. Since I'm right here, let's go ahead and do a ladybug in this corner. I'm going to turn it. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a ladybug right here just to be a little bit different. I can turn it. And then it goes right into the crevice. And then I can go around like that. Okay, there's no rhyme or reason, just having fun. Okay, let's do one in this crevice. And this one can be coming out pretty far. This one's so big, the spaces. Okay, put one in this crevice, a little ladybug. Okay, put a little ladybug in this crevice right here. Okay, put a little ladybug in this crevice. Just sort of building them. Okay, so it looks like it's sticking out. Oop, my little ladybug doesn't look totally colored in there. Okay, right here, just for fun, I'm going to put several ladybugs. Ladybug. And you'll see, just I want to have just like a little row of them. And then just aura. I'm just gonna put two auras. Okay. Feeling pretty good. All right, that is our crescent moon and our um, shatak. So the next one, six, step six, is shade. Okay, and the shade, what I like to do is go on either side of that those lines that we made at the beginning so then it looks like it's down in there your little your little um boards so i'm doing it on either side of the white board that we made as our main one so i'm gonna go either side of the white board to shade either side of the whiteboard and you can see the pencil mark right now but I'm gonna go back with the tortillon and blend it in okay I'm doing that for all of the whiteboards the main whiteboards that we started with I just think that that it looks neat and then let's put in some graphite on either side and I'm gonna put it down here so you get some shadow that it's coming off the paper. Okay, and then our last board right here. Okay. Now for crescent moon. Okay, what I'm gonna do is around the edges, around where my paper is on the outside of crescent moon, and you see where this one is on top of that one, I put some shadow on the one underneath. So whatever is on underneath and on the outside, outside and whichever one is underneath. 
See, this one's on top of that. So I'll put shadow on the one underneath. This one's underneath. This one's underneath. This one's underneath. So that's the one that gets the shadow. The one underneath gets the shadow. And then I like to, that's underneath. Okay, underneath. The one underneath gets the shadow and then the outside of the ridges. It just makes it pop. The one underneath gets the shadow and then outside. One underneath gets the shadow, the outside. Under, the one underneath gets the shadow, the one underneath gets the shadow, the one underneath gets the shadow. Okay? You can also do it like right here because all of these are underneath shatuck. So all of them would be in the shadow. Okay? So over here, you're already there. Give it some shadow because he's underneath. Okay, all these already underneath. All right, I think we're good. Take your tortillon and let's go over it just to fill, soften it and make it pop out. And then you could also add a little bit more here if you wanted to do like right here where it goes across. There's so many places to shade to make it pop out. Sometimes I'll go in circular motions just to soften it. See right here, that's another place you could shade right here. Chatuck makes it so fun to shade. And we're just doing the basics right now because of time. And I'm just doing the outside of that one. I didn't put any um, graphite on it when we were doing it because I knew I'd have enough on my pencil to go back over it. I mean, on my tortillon. Because as you're going over the pencil marks, it gets on your tortillon, so then you have more to share. And I'm trying not to go over the black marks, the black crescent moon things because um, it gives it a sheen. But I mean, you know, you don't, you might like the sheen. Okay, all right. I think it turned out pretty cool. I love how when you shade it, you can see the layers. Okay, and the next part, initial and sign, get your Micron 01 pen. And I'm gonna pick this corner right here, put my initials B, turn my tile S, okay. And then on the back, Brenda, tangle break. And this was, if you're keeping track, Crescent Moon and Shatuck. Okay, Crescent Moon and Shatuck. And I think it turned out really nice. The last step, step eight, is appreciate. I appreciate the time that we've spent together taking our break for the day. I appreciate um, just having a good time, having fun, relaxing, and uh, doing something that was easy, but then turned out to be so interesting to look at. So um, hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time on Tangle Break. Bye for now.